Yo, what is up, guys? This is another L.A. Noir walkthrough. This is Case 13, Part 1, and I don't know what that was there. Actually, I know what that was. Um, but anyway, um, so we are on the final homicide case. Yes, that's right, the final homicide case. So we won't be seeing uh, Galloway anymore right after uh, Case 13, Part End. So, yeah, guys, uh, we'll get on with the case. Which, as you can see, it's called the Quarter Moon Murders. And so let's fly in. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. All right, so the first thing we'll pick up here is the one with the weird lettering. No one else but the killer knew about this message. All right, we'll put that down, and now let's pick up the red booklet right here. And we'll press A. To suffer woes, which hope thinks infinite. To forgive wrongs darker than death or night. All right, now lastly, let's pick up the piece of paper right here. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. Note from the Dahlia Maniac. He definitely also killed Teresa Terrellson. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrellson murder, not to mention the Mollocks. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder. Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be all. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? Supposed to, forget what it's supposed to What does he want? It Where to are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. That's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. All right, guys, so in the Quarter Moon Murders, what's going to happen is we're going to go through lots of landmarks. For example, Pershing Square. We're going to have to go to the fountain. And that's going to lead us to clues, and the guy who puts them there, basically, is going to give us more clues on which landmarks to go to, and which uh, clues to find so we can find them. So he's basically like playing a game on us, basically. Kind of like what Ray said. So we're going to go to the Persian Square, which isn't too far. I'm just going to have Galloway uh, drive us there. But it's basically like a puzzle, basically. So if you're good at solving poems and puzzles and whatnot, then you're good at this. What have I been telling you all along? We gotta get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. The department is not gonna take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. Alright guys, so we are here at the Pershing Square finally, the fountain in Pershing Square, and we'll see if we can find anything here. Oh, I guess we will <laughs> anyway. So what you want to do is you want to go to this place right here, and then once you hear a little uh, tune, then you can climb up, and you can see what's on the fountain. And so first, let's pick up this little excerpt right here. Use that as a 
there is a cave, all overgrown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the day. Where next? All right, guys, so the final line of that excerpt really gives you a clue on where we're going with this, but here is where it gets really weird. Elizabeth Short, Betty Short, Black Dahlia. Elizabeth Short, social security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? You got a city map? See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the nose. Alright guys, so now we're just going to have to go to the map menu here. And go to the map. And we are going to go to the Hall of Records because in the last excerpt it says Diamond Spires, Diamond Spires hanging down from a, to make a doubtful light. Takes me a little while to find the uh, where the Hall of Records is. It's right there. So as you can see, there is Diamond Spires hanging down, which is shining a light. So let's place a marker there, and now let's go investigate the Hall of Records. You can drive. Him. It's really him, the fuck who killed the Dahlia. Can you believe this? He's leading us. It's his game, Rusty. He may want someone to catch him, but he's extremely dangerous. I doubt if he will give up easily. It suits me down to the fucking ground. We clip this fuck and we get citations. <laughs> what a day to be a cop. Pencil pushing Parker won't be able to shove me aside after this. Alright guys, so we are here at the Hall of Records finally. So let's go to the receptionist over there. Can I help you, sir? Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. All right, guys. So after your two flights of stairs, you want to take a right because that's the closest way to get to the maintenance room. But I take the long way and accidentally go through the wrong door. And uh, it takes me a little while because, you know, that's how I am. With the uh, games, I usually take the long way instead of the short way because I never really investigate, you know, what's expecting. But I don't, I think it's the same. See, look, Galloway's already there because he took the short way. Now, right here, uh, you just want to go up to the ladder. I have some trouble with it, you know, running into walls and whatnot. Galloway's just waiting for me there. But uh, once we get up to the ladder, there we go. So we'll climb the ladder, go through the door, and then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to bounce on this little wire right Get here. Rusty. Make sure you go really, really slow. Well, I guess it's going to be slow anyway. Make sure you use that left stick. And then you'll find your third excerpt and another missing clue. Deirdre Muller's missing watch. Temples high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. Where have I seen that? All right, guys. So there we go. We found our set of clues again. And then after this, oh, Jesus! I was not expecting that. Well, I guess I am expecting that. 
But anyway, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to be like, like this is like a swing. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to swing this back and forth so it gets all the way up to the edge. And then you jump. It jumps automatically, so you don't have to touch a button or anything. So, there you go. We find our clues. And the chandelier is shattered. Wow, amazing. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. A molar dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location. If I can work it out. All right, guys, for our next location, we're going to have to go to the public the public library, not public um, library, because in that uh, in the uh, the the poem there. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, it says it, it sculpt it uh, rises over sculpture and posy with the dado wings and whatnot. And for some reason, it gives I have like a really, really hard time finding. I'm not really good at finding things, so uh, I'm just going to have to cut this out here, and let's get on with the case. Uh, where? Oh, there it is, L.A. Public Library. Yep, so there you go. We are going to go to the L.A. Public Library with Galloway driving us there, or not. Okay, I'm going to be driving us there. So, let's go. KTI Radio. He keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. He takes pleasure at stringing us along, demonstrating how much smarter he is. He can enjoy it while it lasts. I got you now, genius. Coming for you. and the natural brilliance of your smile when it's Devil Bling. Devil Bling toothpaste or powder. Don't delay. Ask the targets for a Devil Bling today. This is KTI, a member of the American Century Broadcasting System. Ladies, how often does this happen in your kitchen? Gosh, Mom, pancakes. delicious pancakes are ready after a few minutes on the grid. In fact, Mullingar flour can be used for breakfast, lunch, and supper. For meals that are satisfying, good eating, and make your mouth water, use Mullingar flour. Alright guys, so here we are at the public library here. And uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of parkour, French parkour type thing. So, here we go, guys. Let's climb this pole here. It's going to be it's gonna be a little bit of a while anyway. So, we climb the pipe, get on this scaffold here, and get on top of the, the over the wall, hopefully. And then we want to get to the ladder there. So we climb the scaffold, climb up the ladder. And you have to bounce on this wooden plank, which is not even that hard. But for some reason, I fall off. Yep, and there goes my hat. Yep, we'll get that later. Um, but anyway, so we're going to have to bounce on that, go off, climb the pipe right there. And it gets a little bit uh, weird because you're going to have to go down one. And he's going to be like, you know, sometimes a step back is the right direction or something like that. I don't know. Um, so we jump over this thing. I don't know how he got that burst of speed right there. So you're going to have to climb up the ladder, hopefully. Let's climb up the ladder. Like climb, climb, climb. There we go. Climb up the ladder. <coughs> I have a little bit of a cough. That's why I've been uh, commentating that much. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Maybe I can just jump right from the wooden plank to the roof. Maybe that's a good idea. But apparently Phelps can't do that. It's only a little bit of a simple jump. I mean, well, you know, whatever. Sometimes a step backwards is a step I guess he's an adult. He's like, oh, I'm doing for it. He doesn't want to risk his life. So, there you go. Step back. A direction back is the, the whoa. <coughs> Excuse me. I was not expecting that. He just totally jump off that scaffold like a boss. All right. So finally, we are on the roof. Finally, just finally. And we're gonna have, we're gonna have to take the long way once again. I take the long way as always. And uh, I think I just pass him. What is that? Lady of Guadalupe, ripped from Antonia's necklace. Round which death laughed, sepulchred emblems of dead destruction, ruin within ruin. So this is a treasure hunt. Alright guys, so we found part of Antonia's necklace and we found the fourth excerpt. So let's go down in a flash and let's get going. What is it this time? The religious medal from the Maldonado case. The Dahlia, Moeller, Maldonado. When this gets out... We still have to find the guy, Rusty. Another poem. Well, you must have some idea, right? Come on, Phelps. We're on a roll here. Don't let me down. All right, guys, so this is where we're going to have to pause it right here. And uh, we already know where we're going. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.